Hello and welcome to GED Mathematics Live at Pulse. In this video, I will be talking about slope. In this topic, we will look into finding the slope of a line from a graph of the line, finding the slope of a line from the equation of the line, or finding the slope of a line with two points on the line. And we will also explore the slopes of parallel and perpendicular lines. To continue, let us first define what is a slope. What is a slope? Slope is a way of measuring the steepness of a line. Now, looking at the different graphs on the screen, you will see we have uphill, which uh, represents positive slope. We have downhill, represents negative slope. Horizontal, which means the slope is zero. And we have vertical lines, which means the slope is undefined. Now, to calculate the slope, we can use uh, the formula m is equals to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 all over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. m represents the slope and the points are represented by x sub 1 and y sub 1 and x sub 2 and y sub 2. Now let's try calculating the slope. First, let us calculate the slope of a line with two points on the line. It means the given is two points, two coordinate points. Okay, the instruction is find the slope of a line passing through the points 1 and 4 and 2 and 7. Okay, to calculate, let us use the formula m is equals to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 all over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Now to solve, let us mark the two points x and y. Then the other one is also x and y. Then let's uh, choose the first coordinate points as x sub 1 and y sub 1. And the second one is x sub 2 and y sub y sub 2. And then plug in all the values of x and y on the formula. So we have m is equals to 7 minus 4 all over 2 minus 1. Then simplify. We have 7 minus 4 is 3, 2 minus 1 is 1, so the slope is 3, okay? The slope is 3, okay? So that is how to calculate the slope of a line with two points given. Now let's... Uh, proceed to finding the slope of a line from a graph. Okay, the instruction. Find the slope of the line graphed in the x and y coordinate plane. Okay, looking at the graph on the screen, the easiest way to find the slope is by choosing any two points from the given line graph okay any two points from the given line graph in the easiest way to to choose is by choosing the y intercept and the x intercept so the y intercept is when x is 0 y is 1 2 3 4 then when y is 0 x is 1 and now we have two points, two coordinate points, the x and y intercept, and then we can 
plug in the values of x and y on the formula. So this one is uh, x sub 1 and y sub 1 and this one is x sub 2 and y sub 2. By the way, even if you interchange, interchange which one is uh, x sub 1 and which one is x sub 2, as soon as they go together, the x sub 1 and y sub 1, you will still be arriving at the same uh, answer or the same slope. So let's plug in now. y sub 2 is 0 minus y sub 1, 4, over 1 minus 0. So the answer is minus 4. Okay, the answer is minus 4. Now, if you can remember from uh, the previous uh, slide, you see that when the graph is downhill, the slope is negative. So this one, our answer, the slope that we've got, negative 4, makes sense because the graph is downhill. Now, let's proceed to finding the slope of a line from the equation of the line. So, the question is, what is the slope of the line 4x minus 3y is equal to 10? So, in this case, let us remember the slope-intercept form. Okay, what is the slope-intercept form? The slope-intercept form of an Equation is y is equals to mx plus b. b represents the y-intercept. Okay, this is y-intercept. And the m represents the slope. So in this case, all we need to do is rewrite the given equation in the form of slope-intercept form to find out the slope of a line. So let's rewrite it, rearrange it. 4x minus 3y is equal to, to 10. Now rearranging it, we have 3y is equal to minus 4x plus 10 and then uh, cancel out the negative 3 by dividing both sides by negative 3 so negative 3 here this one also negative 3 then cancel the negative 3 then simplify the equation on the other side so we have y is equals to 4 over 3 x minus 10 over 3 Okay, now, the equation is already in the form of slope-intercept form. So, we can easily identify the slope. So, 4 over 3 is, is the slope. So, the slope of the line here is, Let's proceed to the conditions of slopes of parallel and perpendicular lines. Let's start, let's start with parallel, parallel lines. Okay, when we say parallel lines, two lines that do not intersect. Now, if two lines do not intersect, it means they have the same slope. So the condition is, if... Uh, the two lines are parallel, they have the same slope. Or, in other words, if the slopes of two equations are, para are the same, then the lines are parallel. Now, the second, the second one is perpendicular lines. Okay, perpendicular lines are lines that intersect or cross each other 
at 90 degrees angle. So, the slope of two perpendicular lines are negative reciprocals. Or, if you multiply the slopes of the two lines, you will get a negative one. Or, in other words, if the two given slopes of a line are negative reciprocals, then the two lines must be perpendicular to each other. Let's try some example to understand the slopes of parallel and perpendicular lines. Line N passes through the points negative 2 and 5 and 8 and 1. What is the slope of a line parallel to line N? As we already understand from the previous slide, that the slope of a parallel lines are the same. So all we need to do is find the slope using the slope formula. So the slope formula is m is equals to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 all over x sub 2 minus x sub 1 is equals to plugging in the values we have uh, 1 minus 5 all over 8 minus minus 2 is equals to minus 4 over 10 or we can simplify it into minus 2 over 5. So the slope of the line parallel to line N is minus 2 over 5. Now let's proceed to another example. Okay, the question is what is the slope of a line perpendicular to the line y is equals to 1 fourth x minus 10. Here, in this equation, it's easy to find out the slope or to identify the slope because it is already in the form of y is equals to mx plus b. So the slope here is equals to 1 fourth. So, the slope of a line perpendicular to line y is equal to 1 fourth x minus 10. m is equal to, the slope is equal to negative reciprocal. So, the slope is negative, negative 4. Now, let's look at an application. Okay, an application of slope. It says... The price of a certain item P in dollars changes with its age, A, in years, according to the formula P is equals to negative 1.3A plus 10. In terms of dollars per year, at what rate is its price declining? Now, in this formula, P is taking the usual place of of y and a is taking the usual place of x. Now the slope represents the change in p or price over the change in a h because the slope is written as a decimal or a whole number it represents a unit rate. In other words the price is decreasing by $1.30 for each year. Another example, the following figure represents the additional distance covered by a student on her second day of a week-long bike tour. Given this graph, what was the student's rate of speed on the second day in miles per hour? 
In this example, X represents hours and Y represents miles. Therefore, the slope is change in Y over change in X, which is e equivalent to change in miles over change in hours. If this is simplified so that the denominator is 1, then it will give the change in miles for every 1 hour. So in other words, it will be the speed in miles per hour. To calculate the slope, we need two points. Looking at the graph, the line passes through the points 0 and 20 and also 5 and 45. Therefore, we can use those two points to find the, the slope. So, let's remember again the formula. M is equals to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 is equals to x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So, we have here 5 and 45. Then, we have this point 0 and 20. So, to plug in, we have 45 minus 20 over 5 minus 0 is equals to 25 over 5 or 5 over 1. So, the answer is she was traveling at a rate of 5 miles per hour. She was traveling at a rate of 5 miles per hour. Okay, that's the end of our video. If you have any questions or if you did not understand parts of the presentation, you can comment below for clarification. Or you can also suggest a topic that you want us to make a video for next time. And if you want to know more about our school, you can visit us at www.phuketpals.org or you can also visit our Facebook, Phuket Pals, or you can call us on 081-417-0978.